For some patients at St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury, the phrase going under the knife might just be going out of style. Doctors are performing state-of-the-art surgery that sometimes requires making as little as just one small incision, meaning less pain for the patient and a faster recovery. Anita Liebeskin's passion is turning trash into treasure. You can take any natural fiber, something like corn husks that you throw in the garbage and make the most magnificent paper out of it. The 88-year-old has been perfecting her paper making skills for more than two decades. I have made paper from the flowers of someone's wedding, so it's a very, very romantic feeling to be able to do that. But a recent health scare took Anita out of the studio and put her into the hospital. I had an acute attack of pancreatitis. A trip to St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury revealed the culprit, her gallbladder. Doctors said it needed to be removed, but thanks to cutting edge technology, Anita's entire surgery could be done through one tiny incision in her belly button. Well, I think it's the future for surgery. It's much less pain for the patient. The, pa the recovery is quicker. And doctors Elisa Benzoni and Philip Corvo are among a group of surgeons at St. Mary's Hospital using the Da Vinci robot to perform a number of minimally invasive surgeries. Everything from removing ovarian cysts and hysterectomies to repairing hernias and colon surgeries. The surgeon operates the robot from a console making precise movements. With the robot, I have a wrist that will spin almost twice as far as a, a human wrist will. If I move my hand a half an inch, the robotic arm will move up to one-tenth of that half of an inch. Uh, significantly increasing my ability to manipulate tissue. Taking the surgeon's vision one step further, a fluorescent dye is injected into the patient, lighting up areas of the body not seen with the naked eye. But if I need to separate a blood vessel out from surrounding tissue, the act of looking for it in the first place is the most common time that I may damage it. So if I can see it before I ever get near it, the chances of there being any problems drop significantly. And because patients receive a special long-lasting anesthesia, they rarely need to take pain medication afterwards. I really did not have severe pain in any way. Uh, it was fabulous. Anita was back on her feet the next day. It's just miraculous. And back to doing what she loves. Now, St. Mary's Hospital in Waterbury was the first hospital in the region to introduce robotic assisted surgery and has one of the largest robotic surgery programs in all of New England. For more information, call 203 709 6000 or visit stmh.org.